the mighty Gabi. Like many Caribbean islands, Calypso is a big part of the culture here. Its origins are from West Africa, and it's believed to have evolved from a genre there called Kaiso. At the heart of it is political storytelling and social commentary. The songs often speak truth to and poke fun at those in power. So when there's a big issue to discuss, like becoming a republic, meeting up with Gabby and his son and musical protege Bit Bit seems like the right place to start. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey. Have a seat, please. Hey, it's so please. nice to meet you. Uh, you must be Bit Bit. Yes, please. The f yes, uh, please, indeed. We're I so happy bit. to meet you. My nice gosh. to meet you too. What makes a Calypsonian, Gabby? A Calypsonian, he's like a town crier. He can put politicians in power and take them out. Mm -hmm. So because... speaking truth to power. Yes. And this is what could be ahead for you in the Calypsonian path. Yes. Bit Bit, bit is the junior Calypso Monarch of Barbados, the youngest ever. Junior Calypso, Calypso Monarch. Monarch, you know. Wow, that's quite Monarch. a title bit, bit already. Bit, bit. Let me see if you can remember this song. Oh, well, about, you going to uh, sing for us? Well, since last year. My, my opening song. Since last year, I am fooling out. People had me under pressure. Asking what's a coming with this year for crop over. Don't get me started on Bit Bit. What is this? How can you be this young and sing with that emotion? So when did you start performing and singing and writing? Oh, man, How old were you? Ago, by age 10, I had um, written my first song. Right. It was called Vote for Motley and Get Free Cakey because our people were so poor mm -hmm. that we had to be dependent on the mayor of Bridgetown to ask so that we can... Have uh, something to, a little something. something. To, ...to go to school with, you mm -hmm. know? You would have to see Barbados in those days. Barbados was so British. The headmasters of all the major schools were all by English people. So you couldn't get away from it. The police chief, same thing. Right. None of the banks had any black workers. So it was like, as if the spirit said to me, you have to be the one that has to fight up against that, to change that. Nelson's statue went up before the Nelson statue in London. This statue of Horatio Nelson took pride of place in National Hero Square in Barbados for 213 years, even though he supported the enslavement of Africans in the Caribbean. I mean, like, how could we keep a statue of a guy like that going in, in this country? So he clearly I, had no I, love for I the country. I wrote the, the song and it became so popular. It goes like Nelson belonged to Trafalgar Square. In London town, not down here. Nelson belongs to Trafalgar Square. In London town, not we island. Look down Nelson, look down Nelson. Look down, back down, mash down Nelson. Put up a bitch and man, put up a bitch and man. Cause you remind me of the British crown. Remind me how we used to bow down Remind me when things were so mean We had to sing God save the Queen I said take him down Take him down Take him down Lick him down Mash him down Take him down Put up a bench and man Take him down <laughs> The statue was taken down in November 2020, and at the occasion, PM Mia Motley emphatically articulated why she thought it was so important. If we do not know who we are, if we are not clear what we will fight for, then we are doomed to be exploited and to be colonized again. We were talking to people and they're like, yeah. you, need, you need to talk to Gabby about this. Yeah. Find out what Gabby's yeah. got to say about <laughs> Barbados becoming a republic oh. and the sort of change that's afoot. Becoming a republic is like, okay, we have established that we are truly now a country in totality. 
Do you think that Caribbean people should search beyond the colonialism and go back to Africa? And of course. We were told that, um, that we had no history, that our yeah. history started with slavery. And it's like, oh my God, you cannot chain a person and make them a slave. You have to take away the language, the religion, and the culture. Then you have a slave. He said that he feels when it, you know, Barbados will become a republic, he said he feels like anticipation, like it's Christmas. How you doing, Bit Bit? Yeah, how are you, Bit Bit? Not necessarily. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying. I'm actually enjoying it. Are you taking me to the water? If you want, sure. But I have to change first. I have to change yeah. first too. Oh yeah. You're clearly still getting the mummy treatment, then. She's yeah. Clearly still getting the mummy treatment, Bit Bit. That means she's living a good life. Sometimes I would get something called kiss ups, when she basically gives me a little. Kiss on the cheek sometimes every once in a while. It gives me a oh, how can she not with them cheeks? Reminds me of the Power Rangers mask. It does look like a Power Rangers mask. The way Gabby not only rejects colonialism but seeks connection with African culture has reminded us what black people from all the Caribbean countries have in common, our African ancestors' displacement from their homes. And even though we're of Caribbean descent, that's obviously only half the story. So goodbye.